Well, um, hello again, everyone, and uh, you join me in the GSA. Uh, I've decided I can't put it off any longer. I need to get to the unit because uh, I'm trying to work on this car. I'm trying to fit rear seat belts uh, because there are now two, two children in my life, and I would quite like for them to be safe. And um, unfortunately, I haven't got the right tools with me. So, uh, as you'll see in a future video on the fitting of the seat belts, what a joyous job that is proving to be. Um, so I'm going to go and grab my big um, socket set and I can grab another few things while I'm there as well as well as just check on the cars because um, because no one's allowed out um, I don't know if anyone's been keeping an eye on the place so I would like to go and have a look make sure all is well and uh, because my work is making these videos and I can't make these videos without the tools I think I can justify the trip Naturally, we won't be lingering anywhere. I've got enough fuel to get there and back. No problem, so I haven't got to stop. I've got all the food and drink I need for the day. So we'll go and see what's what. But I thought I might take this moment just to talk a bit about the um, previous GSA video, which was the um, making the speedometer work, and it is working. I'm doing very nearly 50 miles an hour. It's very wet today. Uh, it's a wiper control on the top there and um, so I'm just taking it easy in these times there is no point rushing potentially having an accident and causing bother for people who really don't want to be bothered at the moment they've got enough to be bothered with uh, it's also not a great time to end up in hospital so uh, take it easy we shall do the window up for a bit more peace and quiet but a lot of people were talking about the cable I think I mean it's probably only a couple of hundred comments telling me I should have attached the speedo to the binnacle first and then the other way but um, there are two things to consider here one is I'm quite ham-fisted and uh, making it up as I go along but secondly reading the manual and looking at the cable layout when I started working on the car I've replicated how it was already so my understanding was the fixed washer on the cable should be the engine bay side but um, it seems that possibly wasn't the case and actually that the washer should be on the inside to kind of help stop the cable vanishing into the engine bay so um, something might not be quite right and again people are commenting on the cable routing not being ideal but again I just replicated how I found it pretty much sort of wrapping around the heater unit uh, so um, yeah I mean I, when I get the clip that allows me to connect the um, cable properly at the gearbox end maybe I can revisit the routing but um, for now I it took me quite a long time, it's very fiddly to get at the gearbox end, so it kind of made sense to connect that end first. Let's hope it stays connected with the cable tie holding it in place. But there's also kind of a rubber bung, which I think was doing a reasonable job of holding it in place until I took it for a drive um, when I bought the car. So yeah, it, it's it's... I was a bit depressed reading the comments and you know, all these people go oh no you don't want to do it that way you want to do it this way but I guess it's a reminder it's quite a while since I've done a tinkering video I'm not actually very good at tinkering I just have a go and record it all for your enjoyment so um, taking a bit of getting used to really uh, but I can can tell you the seatbelt project is also a right royal pain in the backside as you'll see when that video comes out in time but uh, yeah it, it's very quiet on the roads today. Keradigion, the county I'm in, is um, pretty much the safest county in the country, which again makes me feel a bit more relaxed about going out. And uh, I don't just mean Wales, I mean the UK as a whole. Uh, we've got very few cases here. Uh, the health board, which covers a bit more than just Keradigion, I think, the um, Hoyle or Hoyle Da, sorry, um, health board has had just five deaths from coronavirus which is impressive for the geographic spread granted there aren't many people in that but there you go but uh, we shall carry on to the unit and uh, load up on stuff including tools try and find a multimeter so I can investigate this alternator light because um, it's definitely charging I haven't smelt eggy battery so I don't think it's overcharging can have diode issues on the alternator apparently. Do I sound like I know what I'm talking about? But um, yeah, it's frustrating being so far away from my tools. 
the weather has now turned as well it is now um, quite wet so that also ruins tinkering we've had well since I got back from um, Australia which is what eight or nine weeks ago the weather has been incredible so it's um, actually refreshing to have a bit of rain but rain after so long greasy road surfaces another reason for taking it slightly easy today oh it is nice to have a working speedometer again though at some point I'll connect my mobile up so I can check how accurate it is it's all gone a bit um, Welsh uh, the police and these truckers uh, attempted to catch some lambs that seem to have escaped from this field this is on the um, A44 just out of Pontewid Well, here I am back at the unit again. Um, I'm gonna tackle the um, seatbelt project here. And um, I'm just gonna take a quick moment though. Um, just as I arrived here, I got the news that um, a wonderful chap called Bob um, has passed away. And uh, Bob was a big part of my life. He taught me a lot about Citroens. He sold me this very 2CV 20 years ago. And um, He's had a bit of a long-term illness for a while. I was lucky enough to catch up with him um, last November. Uh, no, not last November. It must have been some other point. Before I went away, anyway, I was able to actually catch up with him and have a bit of a chat and a natter. Um, so it, it, it's sad news, but yeah, I have many fond memories of the man. So yeah, goodbye, Bob. But um, I must carry on with um, killing myself on citrons. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to start doing that now. I'll start recording what's going on. But while I'm here at the unit, I can also do stuff like pick up food. We have quality food items here, such as spaghetti plus sausages. Um, I still have a fair bit of um, single man food, I will call it, that hopefully we can um, get through. There's no point leaving it here to just go to waste, even though it's tinned. Most of it is best before this year. Um, but um, to check on the fleet, you can see Tuck is making a mess on the floor like she usually does after a 60 mile an hour hoon last time we were here ellie i think is mot ready um although i haven't given her a service or anything since getting back from croatia so she's well overdue some attention uh, the toyota is still sitting here uh, it's now full of magazines um, because um, i had rather a lot of them and um, i need to work out how much of um this section i need i don't think this is quite as bad as i thought we've got horrible rot down here but the um, repair section covers most of this area so that i might just need that bit uh, i think the repair section comes up to here i say repair section it's a section cut out of a scrap car so i think i only need sort of kind of from the fuel filler down uh, let's go and have a look down the other side and uh, much the same really might maybe comes a bit higher up into the arch area yeah don't do that too hard things for yeah like that's not very attached under there is it suggests the inner wing is a bit of a mess as well these things oh oh shouldn't have done that do rust it seems um so that's the toyota um uh, yeah took took has still got her broken door and the top half of the door has come off I think it might be easier to try and get a whole door somehow if I can. Uh, I'll speak to um, various people in Invercar circles. Foxanne, still sitting here. I've been rummaging around in the books. So she's full of clothes and stuff like that. And um, again, I've just come here and just checked that all the cars will roll a bit. It's not great. Those are brand new tyres. But there isn't a lot of points starting um, Foxanne or myrtle today because it's pouring down outside so all i'd achieve was be to take them for a rouse around a car park and get them wet so um no point interestingly i had a dream about myrtle last night i was in her and someone was trying to crush us in an enormous challenger 2 tank um i woke up and thankfully that hadn't happened and myrtle is here and well and i also have not been squashed by a tank but uh, I think I'll, I'll wrap this one up here. Um, I'll try and get some footage of the speedometer for you on the way home. Now it actually works. That's really good. It makes such a difference. And uh, I look forward to seeing you 
in a future video. Farewell. Oh, actually, no, just before I go, um, I'd better say, I, um, when I put up my little drive around cardigan, people kicked off for I was taking the mickey with that. So I just think what they're going to make of this one. But um, nonetheless, I can't do my job unless I'm here today. Um, so um, it, as far as I'm concerned, it, it's essential for the purposes of me doing my job. Uh, that's how I'm going to try and justify it. Anyway, I shall see you in a future video. Farewell. Right, let's show you some speedometer action. I think it's about as accurate as any other speedo. So probably three or four miles an hour over reading once we're up to about 60. This mild annoyance of the wipers been set for left hand drive, but uh, can just about cope. Is that or is that not one of the best dashboards you have ever seen?